Hello YouTube and welcome to another part zero video alongside our one more marathon marathon. I am the game mechanic today. We are talking about Portugal, uh, one of the more recent additions to Civ 6. Uh, and with most of the recent additions to Civ 6, he's quite powerful, uh, a very prolific trade-oriented naval civ, uh, kind of capable of a lot of whatever the heck you want. Uh, if there were an economic victory, he'd be amazing at it. Uh, but since there isn't, let's talk about your options. Let's, let's begin with all units receiving one extra sight. Check this out. That's your turn one. It's so much vision. So much vision. Um, it's really, really underrated. One extra site early on, scouting, meeting city-states, finding goody huts, etc., etc., uh, is very, very powerful. This would be an, a, a thankful addition to anybody's kit, uh, and works particularly well with, uh, you know, coastal stuff and, and really just anything you want to do. Uh, so that's already a good place to start. One extra trade route capacity when a civilization is met and open borders with all city-states. Um, we'll get to the why of that in a minute, but one trade route capacity when it when a civilization met is really good That does not apply to city states. That is just for major civs in the game But it is one of the few civs or one of the few abilities in civ 6 that scales with map size uh, The more civs in the game the more trade routes you get uh, It's only one and you can you can get lots of trade routes other ways uh, But this allows you to have a lot of early trade routes and the trade routes get even better from here but this ability helps a lot with our capacity. Uh, so from there, international trade routes must originate from a coastal city and can only reach cities on the coast or with a harbor. They get 50% towards all yields and then have 50% range over water. And you can also embark as soon as they're unlocked. So you don't have to have all of your cities be coastal necessarily, but you will at least want a few. And your most important cities are going to want to be coastal because this is an insanely good ability. Um, this scales with policy cards. So like Whistlebankin for allies, uh, any of the trade route uh, gold, extra gold cards uh, early on uh, or throughout the game. And, and it just gets silly, 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 silly as the game goes on. Uh, there are city-states that play well with this. There are game modes such as getting owls in, in secret societies that play well with this. There are tons of different ways to abuse 50% extra yields with international trade routes. Uh, it's very, very good. Uh, again, owls being particularly good because you can get double trade routes per city. And then also you get uh, rewarded for sending trade routes to uh, city-states anyways. And those do count as international. Uh, so let the gold pile in stack stack trade routes in your coastal cities and go nuts uh, And then now for the now uh, Portuguese unique naval unit that replaces the caravel starts with a free promotion and has less maintenance by half uh, and has two charges for fitterias um, This is basically the combat strength of a caravel uh, with two less maintenance So it's two instead of four uh, you get the free promotion, which kind of is nice. Uh, you probably want to just use it for movement and then head up to a city-state or allied city so that you can place your unique building because one of the very unique things about the Civ is your building goes in opposing uh, players' cities, not in your own. Uh, so generally speaking, I'd probably pop a couple of these out, grab the extra movement, and then just make sure you're, you're placing cities, uh, placing your fateria in cities that you have trade routes to and let the, let the gold pile in. We'll get to that in just a second. Then we have the navigation school, unique building to Portugal, 25% extra production towards naval units in this city. One science for every two coast or lake tiles in the city, uh, gives you great admiral points as well as great scientist points. Um, the navigation school is a university replacement, which is interesting. It also has four science on it, which it didn't say in there. Uh, so you get all the basic things of a uh, university plus some admiral points and then plus some extra production towards um, naval units. So it's kind of cool. And then once you have it, however many uh, coast tiles the, uh, a city has divided by two and you get that much extra science as well. Um, it's pretty strong. Uh, you could do coastal space race stuff, which is not necessarily the typical way of doing a space race, uh, but does kind of, it, it doesn't feel as punishing to have a bunch of coastal cities that, that science is super, super nice. Um, it's been asked what happens with this and the, um, 
The other unique university that is in Secret Societies that you get in, what, Hermetic Order? The um, I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh, but you get the Hermetic Order one. This one does get overridden by Secret Societies, so keep that in mind if you plan on going Hermetic Order with Zhao. Um, not necessarily the way I would want to play him, but certainly a way you can. Uh, and then we have a Fitteria. We have four gold and one production. That's on the tile itself, so you give that to your neighbor. But then trade routes sent to the city from Portugal get four gold and one production. Remember, it's actually six gold and one and a half production, assuming it's an international trade route, uh, which it kind of has to be. Um, can only be built adjacent to luxury or bonus resources in the territory belonging to other civilizations or civs, city states that you have open borders with. Has to go on coast or lake tiles adjacent to land and not adjacent to another one. Uh, and they cannot be removed. So you can stack these in opponent cities for just all the gold. All the gold in the world. Um, you know, use it to buy a fancy hat like you, like uh, like Joe has. Super fun city. Uh, a sieve. Just crazy amounts of gold. You can do naval dom. You can, you can use Reina promotions and buy spaceports. You can do anything your heart desires. Get to a million gold. Yes, you can do it. Um, do a gold per turn challenge. Lots of fun options for Portugal. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and join us live in person on the internet. See you then.